Well, we continue our celebration of National Wine Week right here on Idaho Today. And joining us right now is Mark Pasquale. He's the owner of Rolling Hills Vineyard, another amazing Idaho wineries mentioned earlier in our conversation with Moya. There are over 70 wineries now in the state of Idaho. Great to see you, Mark. How are you? Good, Melissa. How are you this morning? Thank you so much for having us. It's great to have you. And are you in your tasting room? That looks lovely. Yes. Yeah. I'm in our tasting room, which is in Garden City, right off of 52nd Street. So we're in the heart of the urban wine district. Our vineyards are in the Eagle Foothills, um, but our, our tasting room is down in Garden City. All right, so nice and convenient for everyone. That's a great location. How did you get into winemaking, Mark? Wow, so my wife was raised on a vineyard and we've been married for over 30 years. So we, we've definitely had a passion for wine our whole lives. And um, in 2016, we bought a vineyard in Eagle. Um, we rehabbed it, planted more vineyard, uh, got involved in winemaking, and um, here we are today. So um, it's kind of a, lifelong passion my wife's grandfather used to make uh wine um, for his friends and so it's just kind of something that we've both grown up around well and i think we just saw some photos of your property and it is absolutely gorgeous stunning i can just oh, imagine thank you so much yeah i can just imagine sitting out there especially with some of the nice weather coming this week sipping on a bottle of you know or a glass of uh so one of your, your great wines and just kind of taking in the view. Absolutely lovely. Now you have a couple of wines with you. You're in your tasting room and you were kind enough to drop a few yes. off here at the Ido Today studio. So um, let's, uh, let's pour something. I wanna, I, I wanna take a look at this and share with our viewers. So go ahead and walk okay. us through what you got right there in your tasting room first. So what I have right here is our 2019 Tempranillo, which um, actually the Ido wine competition was yesterday. And the Tempranillo won best in class, double gold. Um, so we were very, very humbled and honored by that. Oh, wow. And, uh, this Tempranillo, the fruit was grown at Sawtooth Vineyards in the Sunny Slope area. Um, and um, this is has a really, really lush blackberry, cherry, Ooh. fig type flavors. And it is your typical Tempranillo from the standpoint of it has some real nice tannins and um, it has a real kind of pepperiness to it also. Yeah, it certainly so. does. Now, as mentioned, you were kind enough to bring some of that here to the today's studio. So I've uh, kind of you know, smelled a bit of the, of the bouquet here. Mm -hmm. It does, it's, you can smell a little spice in there, right? Which is true to mm -hmm. a, a temper neo, yeah. as you mentioned. And uh, I can uh, just imagining maybe pairing this with a, a delicious paella, something with a little cake, a spicy oh, yeah, barbecue, right? Yeah. For the summer, that'd yeah. be amazing. All right, well, yeah, congratulations. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. No, I was gonna say the great thing about Tempranillo is it does provide you a wide variety of foods from you know spicy to mild that you can really pair it with and, and have a good time. Yeah, yeah, and th this, this to me does speak to summer, right? I know the forecast yes. calls for some heat this week. Uh, you can bring it here mm -hmm. a little bit too wi uh, with your wine. Now, in addition though to the reds, uh, you also dropped off a lovely um, Moscato or Moscato. What, um, tell me about this right here. So the Moscato is, that was actually also from the Sunny Slope area, the fruit, and um, it is a dry Moscato. So most people are used to drinking sweet Moscatos, which are typically how they're made in Italy. But we decided to make a dry Moscato so you don't get that kind of sugary sweetness that you get with a lot of Moscato. So it really brings out the flavor profiles of the fruit, which are peach, citrus, apricot, you get a little grassiness on the nose. Talk about a fun wine in the uh, summer on a nice hot day. Chill a glass, sit out on the patio. Um, it's a great, great summer wine. And it's it's definitely, uh, we're very, very pleased with how it came out um, from the standpoint of it being a dry in Scotland. But it's an exciting thing. When people come in the taste room and try it, they usually connotate Mos Moscato with a sweet wine. And mm -hmm. so it, it's kind of interesting to to introduce into a dry fruit. Yes, no, that is a nice little twist. Well, Mark, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Congratulate you on your lovely award here. I'm going to raise this glass oh, here to you. you. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Melissa. Yeah, enjoy Idaho Wine Month. Yes, and we'll I think we certainly Idaho. will. Yes, savor Idaho. Yeah. I love it.